good morning gang welcome back to our channel y'all happy thursday it is a tropical storm right now and i'm a little bit scared so i'm about to talk quick and hurry up and go to the gym i have no idea what's gonna happen in this vlog because the weather is so bad i'll probably be at home so i'm gonna try to give you guys as much footage in here um but before this vlog even gets popped off i need you guys to know that i'm now stepping to members of the dandy gang so if you want to be a member of the gang like comment subscribe and hit the bell put your fists up and fight me because 2020 is ghetto and i know you people in my game that's gonna hold it down so like comment subscribe hit the bell and once you're jumped in you're a lifetime member period so yeah y'all it is a freaking trial tropical storm in North Carolina right now the warning went out yesterday and I didn't think nothing of it then when we woke up y'all excuse this bump y'all came from my cycle but anyway when we woke up it was still like raining and drizzling but I'm like mm, not that bad but y'all it's literally a tropical storm going on right now and I still came to the gym the only reason I came to the gym is because I didn't go yesterday so I was like let me go get it in and then I have an off day tomorrow. So we're about to get it in today, period. And then I'm probably going to go home and stay home. So I guess we'll try to find something to do in the house. Or maybe I'll try to clean up something or show you guys something. I don't know what this vlog is going to consist of. Um, this vlog may be just a little bit today and then tomorrow, like, daytime. But anyway, let's go get these games so that I can go home. And this is what I like to do, just put my mask over my headphones. So yeah, come on y'all, let's hurry up. All right, y'all, I just left the gym. I didn't show y'all what I did because quite frankly, y'all, the weather is just making me nervous. But anyway, we just got to Walmart real quick. Um, I showed y'all those um, lounge joggers that I had got yesterday, y'all. They are so comfortable. You get two pair for $9, but I got a large slash extra large and it's way too big. So we're at Walmart. I'm about to return them and get another size. And then I think I'm gonna grab some, a couple things, and then we're gonna go home and have some lunch. Hopefully y'all can hear me, but I'll see y'all in the next one. All right, gang, so I'm back from the gym, back from Walmart and everything, and now I'm home. Um, it is 1.20 and I'm about to make me something to eat. I think I'm gonna make like a quesadilla with meat and cheese in it and then i'm gonna put this avocado salsa on the side um i've never had this before but i see people that are eating it i didn't even check the carbs but oh one gram of carb so yeah i'm gonna have some of this sauce to dip it in i'll show you guys when i'm done but also i showed you guys these yesterday and um i went back and got a medium because the large extra large was too big so i went and got a small slash medium and again these feel so freaking soft i can't i don't know if you guys can tell but y'all these feel so soft and you get two pair for nine dollars like i don't know i just think that's such a good deal so um i went back and got a medium and then the last thing i picked up from walmart was this fair life cookies and cream ice cream y'all i don't know but this time around it's being kind of hard, not hard, but I just want sweets. And I think that's because my cycle, because eating has not been hard, but I just want something sweet. So I picked up this cookies and cream, fair life ice cream. So after I did the calculations, I think each serving does have nine carbs, but I'm not the type of person that'll sit there and eat a whole pint of ice cream. I need like two or three spoonfuls and I'm content. So yeah um i will let you guys know how this tastes so yeah 24 grams of carbs um nine added sugars three dietary fibers once you do all the subtracting uh you're left with about nine carbs so 40 percent less sugar nine grams of protein so i'm gonna try it it's a light ice cream like i said i only eat about two or three spoonfuls um when i'm in the mood not even every day or every night so yeah but let me um get to cooking my lunch and i'll see you guys when i'm done all right guys so for lunch i'm just making i guess like a little quesadilla so i just took one of these la banderita carb counter um tortillas they're four net carbs por tortilla and earlier this week i think y'all saw me make some taco meat that i put on top of a salad so i'm just using some of that meat along with some of this um taco blend cheese from great value i'm just gonna um make this into like a quesadilla 
and then I'm gonna cut it into like three pieces and that's gonna be my lunch so after I'm done I'll come back and show you guys okay gang so this is my lunch I'm also going live talking to you guys but this is my lunch y'all so I use the La Banderita um tortilla shell I mean tortilla just one and then I put in some taco meat and I put in some taco cheese and then I just folded it over and let it kind of like marinate and um get all good so I already took a bite off this one but as you guys can see it has meat in it um and cheese as well as I'm using this um salsa i'm using the avocado salsa and i'm just dipping it in and yeah this is my lunch yeah i had to clean my camera off but hold on pause that and let me, let me do it the right way y'all because i ain't even at home get to be doing y'all like this so i'm using this avocado salsa made with real avocados one carb um, I'm not going to use all of this, but even if I did, um, it's only one car per serving, which is fine, but I'm not. And then, like I said, I just used the La Burrita um, tortilla, and then I just put in some taco meat and some cheese, and I'm just, like, dipping it in there. But, y'all, this is so good. Um, This whole thing is about, I'm going to say five carbs because I'm not going to use all that. I'll, or maybe I'll say six carbs. And this is my first meal of the day. I ended my fast. I was using the Zero app. I went two hours over because I could have ate at 11.15 and it's about to be 2.15. So I went hours over. So yeah, I'm just about to eat my lunch, talk to y'all, and I'll see you guys a little bit later. All right, gang. So really quickly, I wanted to just show you guys what was in my gym bag. So now that I pretty much like get dressed at home and everything like that and then go to the gym, I don't have like any clothes or shoes or anything in my bag. But I thought I guess I would just come and show you guys what's in my bag for now because it's Thursday. I'm just cleaning it out and organizing it because um, I'm done working out today and I have to hit the gym and I don't have to hit the gym tomorrow. Tomorrow is Friday, so I'm just going to chill tomorrow. Um, we got some festivities lined up that you guys will see. And then I'm back in the gym on Saturday. So I wanted to kind of take the time to get my bag organized. I have not been drink been bringing my gym bag with me y'all i literally just been grabbing like a bottle of water um my mask and my keys that has my little badge on it so now i'm just getting my stuff together and gonna put it in my bag a lot of this stuff i don't use on a day-to-day -day, but i just keep it in my bag because you just never know what you're gonna want to do if you're not on the plan when you get in the gym so i guess we'll just start over here so typically i keep these little printed um ziploc bags in my gym bag and inside these i'll put things in them so in this first one right here um i usually keep like women products so i'll put some tampons in there i'll put like two or three of these honey pot normal whites fragrance free intimate part um you can use them on your face or your body and i just keep these in my bag to refresh and also if i just so happen to have makeup on or if i need to wipe my face i'll just keep like three of these in my in this little section in this little pouch and then the last thing i keep in that pouch is a fab bag i showed you these fab bags before and basically when you're on your cycle um you can um after you use the restroom of course you can dispose of the used tampon in here you just peel off that seal you put it in there and then you close it and that's just like a healthy kind of self like just nice things you're supposed to do like especially if somebody's gonna use the restroom after you or whatever so i just keep those keep a fab bag or two in there i actually need to grab a couple more to go in there um i use those everywhere at home i keep some in my purse if i'm out in public you just want to dispose you know properly and these bags are biodegradable um biodegradable disposable bags uh, they're on amazon i'll leave them link below and then in this second bag, I usually keep like hair stuff. So right now I just have these little hair ties. So this is the only thing going in there right now. But usually I have like hair ties, a headband uh, or something like that just to get my hair out the way. Um, so yeah, that's that second little baggie. And then I have my little sweet sweat wash bag. Y'all know I just got the sweet sweat 
uh, waist trimmer. So I usually use, once I use it at the gym, I come home, wipe it down, let it dry out. And then I wrap it back up and I just put it in this little wash bag. And that's how I carry it with me to and from the gym. I also have this Sweet Sweat sample um, just inside of a Ziploc bag. I usually just keep that in my bag just like this. I also keep my Abilene in my bag. And again, it kind of just varies if I get dressed for the gym before I leave home, which I generally do. Then I'll just put my Abilene on um, while I'm home. And then just toss it back in my bag. So yeah, I keep my Abilene in my gym bag. I also keep a pair of socks. Usually I would keep like socks, gym clothes, a pair of shoes and everything. But again, since we're not getting, well, since I'm not getting dressed at the gym, I just keep a pair of socks because you just never know when you're going to need socks. Another thing I keep in my gym bag goes hand in hand with the honey pot wipes. And it's these simple kind to skin eye makeup remover pads. It removes waterproof mascara. Simple is one of my favorite brands. So yeah, I just keep this little pack in my bag in case I need to, um, wipe off makeup or if i'm sweating a lot or even if i need to wipe down a machine and i don't see any type of uh, paper towels or spray i'll use these so i'll probably throw these in here with the hair ties um i also keep a, a pair of plug-in headphones so y'all know i have airpods i have my over the head um headphones and then i also have these so yeah this is just a pair i have so many pairs of these y'all and this is just a pair that i just leave in my gym bag if my headphones if my um airpods or if my over the head bluetooth headphones are ever dead i just leave these in my bag just in case um, and then onto the headphones. Here are my Tazumi headphones, y'all. I got these, as you can see, the paint is chipping off. But y'all, I got these so many years ago from Walmart during Black Friday. They still work. Absolutely love them. They stay charged for days, like days. So yeah, these are just some Tazumi headphones. I can't even remember how much these cost, but I love them. The next thing I keep in my bag is a water bottle. This one is that glass one that I had got months ago from Marshalls. And I just keep this one in my bag. So it is a little bit heavy, but that's okay. This is my designated like workout uh, gym bag or water bottle. So keep that in there. Sometimes I have a bottle of water. It just depends. But nine times out of ten, um, this is the bag that I this is the bottle that I use in the gym. And then the next thing that I have, or the next couple things that I have, are just some workout um, resistance bands. So you guys saw these. I got these off of Amazon when quarantine started because I needed to work out. So I have just some resistance bands. I have this resistant like loop, the green one. Y'all saw this one before too. Got this off of Amazon. Um, so I just keep these kind of in my bag. And then I also have my Camellio resistance bands that you guys have seen before too and they're kind of the um rubber material whereas these are the fabric so yeah it just depends on what i'm trying to do but it comes with like a heavy one um extra heavy so on and so forth light extra light so yeah i just keep these in my bag as well feel easy is the last thing that i keep in my bag and usually i'll take a pre-workout or i'll have coffee before i hit the gym but just in case i don't or just in case i need some extra fuel i got these um products from easy and uh this is not sponsored this is just something that i always keep in my gym bag and yeah they're just little pills if you need like a boost of energy they're in there and they're really good. So yeah, that's everything I keep in my gym bag.
Okay, gang, so I'm in my bath and I just wanted to come and tell you guys everything that I use. Um, in the previous clip, you kind of saw like what I use and how I set up. And y'all, I am in such a zen, relaxed state right now. But really quickly, because y'all, I want to enjoy my bath. It is smoking hot. Anybody else like me, like y'all love a hot freaking bath. So guys, I use the Dove Exfoliating Body Polish with crushed lavender and coconut milk. So I like to use this one like in the nighttime or if I'm taking a bath because obviously the lavender um, will help us sleep and the body polish is just so just decadent and it kind of just melts in my hand. Um, so I use that on my body. Um, I also love these June and Moon Exfoliating and Cleansing Lavender Sugar Cubes. So I place these inside of my bath and then when they start to melt, they look like this. And then you can just push them down and then you're able to use this on your body. Literally. So relaxing, and then again, it is lavender. So we all know lavender is that like relaxing um, scent. And then I also have my clarifying mud mask here by Shade Moisture. And I like to apply this while I'm in the bath to give it time to harden up. And then of course I have a candle over there lit. So yeah, I'm just gonna relax. I just wanted to come and kind of take you guys on a bath day because I rarely ever take baths. And um, I got this wooden tray from, where did I get this from? Um, I think I got this from Bed Bath & Beyond, but I'll link one down below from Amazon. And then last but not least, I like to switch out my Duval brush and I like to use the big one to cleanse my body. So. Let me enjoy my bath, and I'll see you guys for dinner. Oh, and I also used this little brush to apply the mask that I got from Dollar Tree. So, let me enjoy my bath, and I'll see you guys later. All right, gang, and here is dinner, y'all. Um, the only thing I had today was coffee, and then for lunch, I had that um, quesadilla with cheese, and now I'm going to have a taco salad. I was going to have another, like, quesadilla, but I decided just to have something fresher, so I am going to um, eat this salad, and I just put the rest of my taco meat that I made this week on top with a little bit of cheese and a little bit of that avocado salsa on the side, and then just a little bit of ranch. So, yeah, I have the carbs for it, y'all. I'm already down two pounds, about two two pounds plus a little bit but y'all know weight fluctuates and stuff i'm not focused on the scaling or anything but you know i do feel better i feel slimmer i feel cleaner so yeah i'm gonna eat this hopefully i got enough fat in today not really sure um i know i didn't get enough protein in but it's all good you know days fluctuate so i'm kind of hungry but not really so i'm gonna try to eat this whole salad and then I'll see you guys in the morning, y'all. I'm in a super relaxed zen mood. So I'm about to relax, um, have some water, eat my salad, and probably go to sleep. I'll probably eat one of my Choc Zero peanut butter cups for dessert or a popsicle. Uh, I'll probably come back and show y'all. But let me go eat and hurry up because it's already 7 and I want to close my window in 30 minutes. So, yeah. All right, gang. So now I'm about to go ahead and end the vlog. Um, it's creeping up on 8 o'clock, so I want to go ahead and close my window. But I wanted to go ahead and try this ice cream with you guys. So I'm trying this Fair Life ice cream that I showed you guys earlier. It has 9 grams of protein per serving. Uh-oh. It has 9 grams of protein per serving. There are about 3 serving sizes in here. Um, 24 carbs. So let's taste it. Okay, gang, so the verdict is in, and I really, really, really like this. It tastes better than most low-carb ice creams, probably because it has nine carbs per serving. But again, I never eat a full serving. I just eat, like, one or two spoonfuls. So, yeah, y'all, it was really good, and I like that it has nine grams of protein. So, if you need protein at the end of the night, you're going to sneak it in with some ice cream. And it has 40 less sugars, and it was actually delicious and i didn't have to sit it out for like five minutes and you know all the keto rules but if you made it all the way to the end drop the little halloween pumpkin down below